Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign. This is over time as we're uh, trying to get that extra guerrilla ops mission for some more experience in. We're trying to sabotage a transmitter with Operation Lost Law and we already know that there will, quite, uh, will be quite a few automatic um, or mechanical creatures, so I assume many drones some of the nasty uh, some of the nasty mechs and potentially uh, codec codices who knows let's take a look whom we're going to take on to this mission might make sense a specialist makes sense unfortunately all of the specialists are tired Sukuger being one of them Yeah, we really don't have the most balanced team here. I mean, we could go in with uh, two snipers. Don't get me wrong, but that sound... Yeah. Well, the sniper rifles are upgraded, so... It might not be the worst idea. Good, wrong planet seems to be fine. Mike here... Takes the marksman rifle. Heads is going to go in. Dealing some extra damage. We're going to use... Um, are we going to use the shotgun here? I think we could. Might as well. Which means that frees up the... Advanced stock for him. Let's use the flashbang aggressively, and I can use the smoke. Or Sane here can use the smoke just in case. As for Sane, can we upgrade his weapon? I mean, we can build a scope on top of it to make it less bad for him. I suppose that works. Oh boy. I'm not sure if we're actually going to kill a lot of uh, the enemies. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Let's see how well that goes. Okay, perfect. We... Started directly in the sewers, which is the very worst region where you can uh, where you can start with two snipers. <laughs> but I suppose the game wants us to suffer a bit. Heads moves up. Okay. And now let's use our scout here, Phantom Ranger Jaranx. Enemy sighted. Oh wow, okay, cool. Can we get up here somehow? Well, we most certainly can position ourselves down there. And at least have a line of sight, right? Understood. Moving out. Okay, well, we don't have Shredder. Keep that in mind. We got a single grenade and that's about it. And what appears to be a lot of mechanical units. Moving to designated position. Uh, 
do we see oh yeah here is an option to extend the timer we potentially will need to do that to be honest double movement Be that. Got to cover. We've got the objective in sight. We got nothing inside, buddy. The only thing that we got inside is a little bit of an extension. And then we eventually want to get there. Tension. Lots of tension. I don't know where they have gone. I assume they've gone through here, but we can't be sure. Heading out. Got a group of hostiles over here. Wow, three of them? Are you kidding me? Okay. Can we even act from up here? Potentially not. Roger that. So Mike moves down here. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Moving on target location. Hmm. I mean, we can't really use the high ground because you can't hit anything from there. Might as well need to go a little bit further to the front. sure if there is anything over here potentially not but boy oh boy once once we're engaged with that enemy team that's not going to be fun three max and we really don't have much to deal with their armor We've got here. three further max Imagine if you had blue screen rounds. Oh wow. And now we're being spotted. <laughs> okay. Well, fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. I think I'll place an evic. Yeah, I don't think that we can do that. I mean, overall fine, we might be able to get one or two down. But I don't see how we're going to go th uh, to get through all of the hit points.
Sometimes it is what it is. Yeah, we haven't used the grenade yet. For good measures. Yeah, two packs. And then both of them. Triple. Uh, triple mech. That's not gonna work out. I do not uh, see that that is going to work out. And we would have fought against 11 of these things. That was six that we engaged. A pack of two. Oh, that's eight. So, and then another pack of three. Without Shredder and without blue screen rounds, both of Shredder we don't have because uh, the skill is essentially banned uh, from our skilling and blue screen rounds is banned as an item. So we will struggle with armor until we finally get some counterplay going. It's okay, shit happens. I hope I have not lost the region, that would suck. Okay, fair enough. Well, we tried our best. It could have been something without a massive side trip. A normal mission, I think, would have been okay for that team. But not a mission with a nasty side trip on top of it. That's just too much. And it would be unreasonable to think that you could, without upgraded weapons, try to go through that. It just doesn't happen. I will uh, already build a tower here, A, because I want to invade the facility, B, because that immediate uh, suit up is helpful, and tactical analysis is just awesome, so we're going to go there next. Starting to install a radio relay. And we got superior conditioning. That's three hit points. That is very good. Finally, something that is going in in our direction. Dodge plus eight. Do we have? Well, we would have Reconer ready for that. And Dodge plus eight is nothing to to scoff at so I think what we can do is reduce the speed here well that's 11 days but still a dodge not bad And we can shift this one here after Proving Grounds is done. Tracy Elliott and Shaming Shu are now getting a bond. Okay, that's fine. They got the bond out of the mission that failed, which is funny if you think about it. Coming in for you now, Commander. And that was <laughs> that was a rough month overall. Commander, our continued failings over the last the hunter can now summon priests. That is nasty. And what are we going to get? Sabotage on the other Avenger. Okay. Aliens scramble the radio, greatly increasing all uh, scanning times. I hope that that here is gonna... That, that we can get signal jamming away, because that would double the scanning times. Oh, that is hell... That is really, really bad for us. That's okay, I suppose. And I don't know what the hidden event is going to be. Extra resistance contacts... 
I mean, so far we're fine. So might as well get 10% more listen, money. Whether they like it or not. And here we go. A couple more days until magnetic weapons. Continuing to make contact. And... It's not bad to have that option here available for us because we also got the black side. And if we could go into this facility instead of the black side, we would still have the black side facility readily available for us. Proving Grounds is now here. So let's choose a spark. And I think we're okay with uh, getting it down to 10 days. I want the spark relatively fast. And this guy here is soon... Uh, do we have enough engineers? No. Could use one more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and one is on the covert ops mission. Okay. Yeah, I want the spark relatively fast. Or relatively soon. Yes, I want to start leveling them. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay, perfect. So signal jamming. I think we Gotta do that one. Uh, I would love to have uh, the engineer, but I think we're going to go with the hacking on the workstation and essentially the signal jamming. That makes sense. Given that today's episode was so short, might as well do that mission right now without ending the episode 20 minutes is a bit of a bummer specifically if we go into a mission and get our ass handed let me set up the team okay here we go we're going to go in with the a team there are large amounts of loss Potentially, this is actually a relatively easy mission, but nonetheless, we need that upgrade to a captain. It seems as if uh, they are, are almost exclusively lost, which is going to be interesting to see how, how this team is going to deal with them. Good, we just landed. Let's see what we're dealing with. First and foremost, First and foremost, we got Sandman, who is going to be the best scout ever. There is nowhere to hide. And the first thing that we need is high ground. Is this your considered high ground? I don't know. But this here definitely is. On it. All right, quick feed moves up. On the move. And the rest of the crew gets going. We got plenty of time. But we also got the Chosen. Whom are we dealing with? Ooh. For once, the Assassin. Hates skirmishers, hates explosions. 
and can summon robotic enemies. You will die. It's already started moving in. She just jumped through here. And through here. Yeah, not sure, but I think she also jumped through here. Alright, this is our objective. We found the chosen, which is good. Wants to start. Jessica moves in. Let's soften up a couple of these guys. So far, so good. We're just keeping it slow. We'll eventually take some high ground and we'll get these guys down. Do we have death from above? No, but we had holo targeting and chain shot, which is going to be fantastic against the chosen. I want to stay hidden for now. And we've taken some really good position in that house. Meanwhile, the Chosen has been just jumping through here, so she eventually will be spotted out. Hilarious. Alright, Jessica, please. Five to seven. Okay, well, that might not be a kill. Target down. Target eliminated. Run and try on ammo. I'm on it. All right, let's block the entrance up there. Keeping away from them for now, I want to go for the Chosen with quick feet. We're green to go. Overwatch. Wards overwatches and I think we're fine. Chosen just has figured out where we stand. She was not triggered, so she should now start to become triggered. We've got our shot at the chosen. Let's make sure it counts.
Okay. A lot of uh, the loss are going for the Chosen, which is fantastic. Love to get closer to her. But for that I think we need to fall back. start dealing with these loss the chosen still can deal with the loss as well she's potentially going to summon robots the reason why I am not engaging her yet is she has a pretty solid position there Quite frankly, we could do better if we're just taking the high ground and ambush her up, up here if she moves in. She wouldn't be able to see us yet. A protocol just in case. There's the summoning. I figured that that might happen. I got nothing. All right, Arashi's doing work. <laughs> She's not having it. Okay, so now we wait. Play more. That would be five points of damage. Uh, the other main target is the mech down there. Okay, we could explode that.
if we can move over here potentially shoot twice and almost end the chosen might as well want to go for it There's the Lost Swarm. I am sight beyond vision. I'm spotted. It's okay that we're being spotted, no problem. We still got to deal with that with that Mac, but before we do that, I'd like to deal with the chosen. I think we should do that. Come on. I still hit. I won't be slow by your feeble attack. One can grow accustomed to pain. Sixty percent chance to hit her. Okay. Not a kill though. What we could do is we could move up and hit her with another grenade. Since she's shell shocked, that should deal enough damage to almost get her down. Multiple enemies neutralized. Moving to position. Placeable. And that's a kill on the chosen. Now we're just left with that unfortunate situation with the Mac. No choice but to flee once again. We showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. Good, and this should at least make it more difficult to hit our body. Thanks to Salvo, we can shoot again. Okay, he's cleaning up. The time for is over. Ah! 
Okay, wow. Well, Zukugor has gotten the short end of the stick this time. to get the mech in a second. Couple of kills for the Reaper here. And let's shred the guy. Percent. Good enough, let's go. Win off the armor. That's a hundred percent kill. Target neutralized. And with that, we're of course going to be able to reposition. We still got the mission objective. Should forget about that. Roger that. Back online. Good to go. All right, moving in. Jessica moves up, Quickfeet moves right. up. Back online. I think Wurtz is positioned okay over here. Watch closely. Now. Swarm should appear right now. Yep, there we go. But this time we prepared ourselves. And by that, I mean, I think we only need to hack. And that should automatically win the mission. Of course, we gotta clear the swarm out, but that should really not be a problem. Dark events. Or 50% reduction. Hmm. Let's go for the dark events because we have quite a few stacked up. Didn't work out. Too bad. Alright, lots of overwatch that let the zombies come. I think the skills of the, the A team are already good in, uh, enough to compensate for all of the weak weapons that we do have. It only shows when the B team needs to do a mission. That essentially they can't really rely on the weapons and since they don't have the skills to compensate 
they end up being in a poor position. The weapons themselves are okay, but this run shows how important uh, support items are, i.e. grenades to deal with cover, right? One of the big disadvantages here is we can't really deal with cover at all. Trying to feed kills desperately to Jessica here. Enemy down. Got him. Oh yeah. I would love her to get that promotion. What else can we hack? Reinforcements? Oh yeah, that's not a problem. Alright, let's wait for the rest of the swarm to come. Unbelievable. High ground. And a marked target. But she still fails. Moving over, I just want to be careful that the fire is not going to take us down. Probably has been it. I'm on it. Or not. Give me a minute. I will reposition. This is going to be one of those situations where we have another single straggler somewhere. And we even missed that one. Reloading. On your order. Affirmative. Covering now. I'm on it. Scanning. A mess of further swarm appears. Luckily this time we do have a sniper, so we're not in the situation that we just can't push forward. Enemies down. Good. This here pulls the other or the remainder of the swarm.
And eventually, the sniper will do what the sniper needs to do. Just going to get all out of the main zone of influence here and blocking the way up. Are always okay, cool. Now, two swarms are going to rush towards us. Can't help myself, but I think that. A better advent has also improved kind of that the spawn chance of those guys i mean i've played with a lot of lost uh, missions but seldomly would you get spawns every two or three rounds maybe i'm misremembering but most of them were limited and not unlimited spawns here it feels like we're having dashers in most of the spawns. And don't get me wrong, I, I don't mind having a couple of dashers here and there. It just had been in many of the missions the Lost were just pushing so heavily into us. That it was almost impossible to get rid of them. It's down. Let's do this. On Overwatch. We're going to go. On Don't Overwatch. Let's do this. Very much closely. Even more losts. The concern that I do have is before all of them die, the next swarm already appears. It, it just seems as if they are coming and coming and coming. Not sure if we killed another boomer or something, but look at that. That almost looks like an entire new swarm. there's yet another swarm I don't know how to get through that they need time until they get to you can't just run into them It's not that we can't handle them. I think we're still very much okay. It just feels a bit odd that so many of them are coming. And we had the very same problem in the, I think, first mission with the Lost where the boomers were introduced. Great idea, but they were just spawning too many Losts. Hey. 
Good. Enemy down. Got it covered. I am on watch. Toss me some ammo. See another spawn sw uh, swan swarm spawns. Before we have even finished the old one. And it's not like I want to farm XP here, I'm just trying to end the mission without doing the same uh, mistake that I did beforehand, which was moving into close quarters. try to hit the guys in the back because those eventually will have a harder time to get to us we're going to scout out if there are more back here the answer appears to be no. So back to scouting. And hopefully this is going to be the last pack. Holy shit, just so many losses. I'm not sure what exactly they changed with the lost packs, but it appears they tweaked uh, the spawn chance of them to 100% every three rounds. Increase the pack size and also made them faster. Some of them, at least. Alright, so, like I said, hopefully we can get those guys down. Good, that worked like a charm, generally speaking. Okay, and I think most of the wave is, is gone. I think these are the last two, hopefully. So is this it? Target down. Status confirmed. <laughs> All hostiles are down and the area is secure. I didn't even do anything wrong. It was really just that incredible spawning. Like how is a hundred, almost a hundred enemies a sensible place for for a normal lost mission? Okay, Zukuger gets 11 days in the map bay and gets scanning protocol in return. That is pretty good. I like it. 
He's also a lieutenant now. We got no further promotions. That is a bummer. Let's go for bond level two. And very soon we should have the magnetic weapon research. There is intel which we don't need, not yet. Setting course for the Chilean control district. I'm looking forward for the weapon upgrade. At least the normal rifles should be a good upgrade. Against the elders, we find nothing but success. Perfect. More supplies, that's good. And Dodge has increased by eight. That is fantastic. What else do we have? Thirty percent premium. Here's a promotion that might be worth it. Not the best, not, not the best covert ops actions this time. Hmm, let me see. Supplies and a promotion might be the right thing to do. If we get uh, if we get him promoted, he will be able to carry the run. We want to risk wounding someone yeah we don't have a spare engineer unfortunately I'll order my people to get underway immediately okay fantastic eight eight days until the end of the supply run spark also takes eight days so we're we're decent on the way decent and I think there is also the bond improvement, right? I can see the allure of the ad. So yeah, that happens in six days. So a lot of things are happening in six to eight days. Let's hope we're not getting interrupted. We have made a number of new discoveries. Fantastic. Magnetic weapons will help us just so much. And a couple of instance autopsies. All those we'll get lost with the lure, which is fantastic. Though I was sectored for mine shields, which are banned, but still fantastic item. And we could get the experimental weapon. Or a couple of other things. Improved med kit, mm, not needed. Purifier could be. Ah, uh, no. Stun lances for sword upgrades, not needed. The priests for sustenance sphere might be interesting. Trooper for. for the beacons wouldn't be bad. I think Gauss weapons also would be very helpful. I mean, yes, experimental weapons is great. But I think we will need a bit more serious weapon upgrades now. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Weapon Just upgrades. Started, so a couple of things. Let's first of all start with the rifles. That is a no-brainer. Gonna do the short guns next. 
We will need more alloys. We got a lure for the um, for the situations where a lot of losses are there, and mine shields are unfortunately not allowed. So let's build the ultrasonic lure and go with that. I probably could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea how to. Good. Spark is language. on the way. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. We've located the Elder Hunter actively working in this region, Commander. Fantastic. We just got sued up, and sued up means we can create all of uh, the suits in the proving ground immediately. But we're lacking the alloys. I would go for an exosuit. But to be honest, also a couple of vests would be nice. Hellfire vest would be great. I mean, the Hasmas vest here wouldn't be bad either. Could build uh, one of them. Chrysalid for Hellfire. That's not bad. So there is a bit of potential. I think the vests, the vests are going to be one of our biggest asset in this run because we're so squishy. Making contact in North America, yes, that would be great. But we do not have enough intel. Generally speaking, I think we should scan for Intel at the Reaper HQ and then see whatever pops up. Scientist is wounded, okay. What I'm wondering is, uh, should we already go for the facility? Maybe in five days or in six days when the Covert Ops mission is go uh, done. Because Frodo is back, we would have the entire team. And we even got a promotion so we could take six people in. Plus the spark is ready. So yeah, that's the point where we're going to go and infiltrate. Good, the Berserker Queen is over here. Fantastic. Bond level 2 is done. And now we're just waiting for a couple of things to, to finish. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plan. Yeah, we're going to go for the infirmary instead of weapon upgrades. I just like the idea of having an infirmary for once. Rita is starting to work on that shielded power coil. And we potentially put another relay up there. And yes, I know I've built the infirmary on shielded power coil. This here might become the Psy, uh, Psy lab, although we don't need one because they are banned. Scratch that. This here becomes a power relay then. One more day and we should be good to go. All right, so that's our first spark. Fantastic. Do we want an exosuit? Well, we could get a spider suit. Well, we're, we're going soon going to get a spider suit, so I suppose that's not needed. But we could get some 
Well, we have very limited amount of cores, so maybe we're just getting some ammunition for now. Because our sniper has almost nothing that they can use. So let's build some ammo. And some experimental grenades couldn't hurt as well. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Yeah, I think the allocation is correct. Supply run is almost done, and once that is done, we should be good to go. I suppose since that worked, there is the promotion. Now we need all of them in the next run. Dodge plus five isn't bad, but the problem is we have too little soldiers that would work here. Hmm. We should get the plus one mobility. Are we going to use the Reaper? Or are we going to use Quick Feet? Nah, I think we're going to use the Reaper for now. For that extra mobility. I'm not sure if we need to make contact with the Templars yet. I mean, it'll give us resistance orders so i suppose that in itself is good and the mobility so why not let's go for it okay let's promote fantastic we got saturation fire that is actually a pretty decent that is a pretty decent option better overwatch is bad this here is Bladestorm, which is good, and this here is Combat Present, which is a presence which is absolutely fucking fantastic. So, Combat Presence, I would take number one, uh, and I also would skill that, which means in today's run we're going to have a more powerful form of Overwatch. So, it happens on everything. And whilst we're at it. Let's get some tactical rigging, or should we save for saturation fire, which is an AOE attack? No, I think we're going to go for tactical rigging. Good, and whilst we're at it, 150 supplies. So next thing is I'm definitely going to upgrade and then we're eventually going to get that facility to reduce the avatar project further and kind of stop it from progressing I mean head triggers aren't bad but they are also not that good, so getting a bit of money never hurts. There we go. What can I do for In terms of engineering, what else can we build? With more supplies, we could upgrade the weapon of uh, our highest ranking soldier and that's only 60 more supplies the reinforced frame wouldn't be bad 
but not needed yet. Let's try to get some more supplies. Market is open. Okay, so the Kalbab is upgraded, which is great. So let's take a look. Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. He is now going in with five to six points of damage. That's a substantial upgrade plus two damage compared to before. Expanded magazine is great. Advanced outloader would give him even more agency. Let's go with an advanced auto loader. That is two free reloads. So we're looking at essentially 12 shots in a row before he even needs to bother. And hopefully at that point, everything will already be dead. Okay, fantastic. That was a good mission overall. And we got our first spark here. Might as well directly give him expanded an advanced expanded magazine. And this will be Primus Spark 001. The first one and maybe the sparks could be our solution for shredding armor it's actually not a bad idea which however means i need a second spark just in case but yeah we don't have unlimited resources so that one spark is got to be okay for now it'll just fill whatever role is needed so that will work fantastic we will be skilling it a bit different than uh, than we normally are skilling them, but the core abilities of the spark should still be good enough to carry. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, this is the end of today's episode. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment or a like below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.